Tell me about yourself, Harish. Hi, sir. Uh, thank you for giving this opportunity to, inter to introduce myself. This is Harish Prakash Raju. So, I'm having one year of experience in uh, uh, HCL Tech as a quality quality uh, quality analyst. So, uh, um, my uh, my my daily roles and responsibilities in my organization is like uh, uh, daily uh, daily connecting to the meetings by uh, true teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, checking the mails from uh, what what I've got from his, uh, from uh, team lead and from my manager, and uh, uh, what what are the mails that uh, uh, comes to work? So I have to check those. Mm -hmm. And after uh, daily uh, two uh, two meetings will be conducted, and uh, first meeting will be scrum meeting. So there we we used to discuss what is what what is the work we are doing we have to do mm -hmm. today. So uh, after that, uh, uh, in the evening session, we'll be having stand stand up calls. So how much work we have done today? So we have to show the progress of the work to them. Yeah. Okay. Come. So you written right using Postman for interact interacting with the APS. Yes. What is the APA? What is full form of APA? App, uh, application protocol. Protocol interface. Application protocol interface. Okay. And. Uh, what is this performing nano testing to the functionality and GUI of the application? What is the GUI? Uh, Graphene user interface. Okay. Yeah. And uh, but and tell me a different life cycle. Can yeah. I draw the diagram a different life cycle? Yeah, sure. Draw the di diagram of life cycle. Meantime, can I have your papers? Yeah. And, and, and. Will you get less marks in first exam? So, uh, like I, I've confused those questions. Okay. Like, uh, don't write all those things. Just write the status itself. In the debate lab. I just don't write status. Only status. Don't write all the descriptions. Yes, yes, sure. Why developer will reject the defect? Uh, because uh, if if already that mean uh, it could be a future like uh, the bug uh, like uh, you know uh, it it could be a future that be like uh, QA. developer can reject the defect uh, developer can reject the, the uh, he should be having multiple like already uh, he already already he tested that uh, bug but again uh, QA team has pushed him to uh, do work, work on that then is it rejected. Uh, no, no, I just want to know why developer rejected the defect. So, I think I have written the right okay, uh, take test, uh, test cases and defect reports. What reports will generate? One of defect reports that you have done it? Uh, I didn't get it. In your uh, resume, right, right, you are written right. Mm -hmm. Analyze system requires specifications involved in every step of this documentation, mm -hmm. such as writing test cases, test scenarios, and defect reports. Yeah, defect reports means like uh, uh, what uh, what uh, QA team will test, right? So, uh, if any defect found uh, in the application, mm -hmm. so we'll we'll make a document of it. So, what are the what what are the test cases that uh, not passed? So, uh, like uh, so, we'll prepare a document of it. And we'll launch it. I think in your testing technology tools, you written ALM Jira, right? Uh, Jira. And I written ALM also. Uh, ALM. What's ALM stands for? Full form of ALM. Application life cycle. Okay. Application life cycle management. What are different between a Jira and an ALM? Jira and ALM, like uh, Jira, both are user friendly, but uh, ALM. Uh, in in Jira, we we used to write uh, test cases in uh, Jira Jira also. In zero only because in a recent project only written ALM that's why I'm just asking you. Yeah. Okay. What are the requirement traceability matrix? So what are the requirement traceability matrix? Requirement traceability matrix. It, uh, it is useful for uh, hundred percent coverage of test cases mm -hmm. and uh, like uh, ev every test uh, uh, that requirement test uh, that means we'll check whether the entire uh, total test cases are covered or not. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, for one year experience in nano testing, SDET. What would SDET stand for? SD, SD, software development. SDET, software development. Life cycle. Good experience on compatibility, usability. What the difference between a compatibility testing and usability testing? Actually, actually, I worked as a developer, so I'm converting it into 
Yeah, I just want to know your ideas and asking you from your resume itself. Yeah. What is the difference between a compact tool testing and usability testing? Usability testing is like how 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 user easily uh, it uh, he can use his application. So we to we will check that usability usability checking. And uh, so let's consider I have one twenty test cases. In that one twenty test cases, I need to perform a regression testing. So, what type of test case will you want to consider upon this one twenty test cases? Regression testing. So, uh, regression testing is like uh, we'll do after the retesting. Edit now. Now yeah. in the one in that one twenty, mm -hmm. how many test cases I need to pick up? Take it out to do the regression. And what type of test case I'll, I need to consider? Like uh, what are the test cases that fail, right? So we used to, we'll do that. Uh, Only those type of test cases we'll do for regression. Like uh, newly built functionalities, like you know, uh, new, newly built uh, uh, things will be there, right? If any code change, things will be happen in the application. So we'll check whether uh, newly built up, uh, newly built uh, features will be. Uh, it should not be impacted to uh, already existed functionalities. So that's we'll the, check that. Yeah. Yeah, that is the definition of regression. I just want to know that in those one twenty, what type of test cases we will do consider to do regression. Like um, there are one twenty test cases are there. Mm -hmm. I request you to do the regression on those one twenty test cases. So, what type of test case you will consider to do regression? Like every test case, we will uh, go through. We'll take one all one twenty test cases to do regression. I think uh, failed one. Like uh, all uh, they review. only failed one. In that 120, I have only one one failed test case. We'll do only we'll consider only one test case or uh, one test case for it. I, I mean, uh, the, the developer will build that uh, right. So we'll work on that uh, particular one. Developer will want involved in test cases, right? Ah, no, no, no. What I mean, like uh, he will develop uh, that uh, what we what we bug raised to him, so he will work on it, right? So we'll uh, what he developed that uh, we will test it. What well, disadvantage in agent process? Disadvantage, uh, it is uh, like uh, like um, it is uh, like uh, we have to uh, spend uh, uh, some amount of it, uh, so. Uh, uh, until and, and until and unless sprint completes, so we cannot uh, conclude. Okay, and uh, uh, my last question is: What is different between a system testing and system designing? System testing and system designing. System system testing means uh, like we used to test entire the entire application, mm -hmm. and uh, system designing. System design means we'll work only on designing. Uh, I mean, uh, designing part. I think. What about designing part? Uh, that might be like uh, comp uh, elements, like you know, uh, um, clicking but uh, buttons. Uh, like uh, we'll, we'll check whether that entire that uh, uh, the check boxes. System testing also will do entire testing, on the right? Not really. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it from me. Do you have any questions? Hi. <laughs> now tell me what are the questions you have. Like, uh, can you go through the mistake what I have done? We need to update your resume because resume yeah. have n number of mistakes because you are experienced, right? Yes, if yes. they catch your resume, right, they will ask all the things on the resume itself. Be confident on each and every line of your resume. Yeah. And we have good communications since I do agree, but be good on the technical sound as well because if they are asked uh, in the reverse way, okay, what is the difference between all those things, you are not able to understand their concepts. Be confident on technical. But uh, as per my knowledge, uh, you are good on communications. Yeah, thank okay. you. I don't have any complaint with respect to communication, but only thing is good on your technical sound. Be good on technical so that it's good for you when you go to any interviews. Okay, thank you. Like how, much, how much you rate my? Upon 10, I can rate for 8. Yeah, thank you.